I went to this majestic, majestic land today, man. I can't even begin to tell you how ancient and majestic this land was. You feel me? And right here in Atlantis, in Georgia, and this land has the um, the unseen, unprecedented. Because what I'm saying unseen is that there are archaeologists, there are geologists, and there are researchers, right, who know what time it is. And if you find something that is antiquated and it is ancient, you cannot turn it into the U.S. government because the Smithsonian is not only going to come and confiscate materials, they're going to start destroying shit, right? They have an incentive to keep you in the dark ages. We are in the dark ages right now when it comes to information because people is in this country and don't have no fucking idea what America represents, right? And of course, I'm slack over the weekend as well. Um, and I'm saying weekend in particular because that's some weak shit, right? That don't represent the strong and niggas was wasting their time the wrong way, right? Attacking me because I put this article up. Let me see if I can pull it up, you know? And anytime that you are broadening the conversation about the fact that we have all been lied to about the history over here, the first thing niggas want to say is, oh, these niggas, you doing everything not to be African. Y'all niggas want to be not African so bad that you want to be everything but African, right? But these be the same motherfuckers that tell you, oh, um, we everything, right? It be the same shit with, with you know... When the women are telling the Dominicans, like, yo, you know, y'all need to stop fronting like y'all not African, but let you bring home a fucking Dominican and then they want to pull a comb out and be like, can I put a comb through her hair? She's not African enough. God damn it. So this information drops, right, about the Bilbo Mounds in Georgia some of the oldest artifacts now in this country, right? Ancient mound building civilization, right? So the goal and the objective is to bring information to the forefront to challenge the narrative that's out there now. Just because somebody's talking about ancient antiquated sites in the Americas does not mean that they're being totally dismissive of the outer Africa theory, of the fact that we all came from the continent, but you said that we migrated from the continent and we spread all around the world. So if I'm identifying where the fuck we been at, why you keep wanting to take the conversation all the way back to Africa? But again, you can't get on the phone and put me on the phone with none of your cousins in Africa, right? This willing to bust no plays. But you so African. So I'm like, yo, there's such a mystery that exists right underneath your feet in this country can you spend just a little bit of time trying to figure this shit out as well? Not doing this and not that. Why don't you do them both so you can find out the synergistic relationship that these continents have to one another? You feel me? There's so much emergent evidence of a Kemetian influence over here or an American influence in Kemet. Either or. Right? The roots of all Abrahamic religions, whether they be Islamic, whether they be Hebraic, or whether they be Christian, for all of the artifacts and information that is being found in the America, it challenges the narrative on all three of those religions, right? Because there's things going on here that do not explain or do not coincide or do not, you know, correlate with the narrative that, that the Vatican has established and has pushed to the world and we're all eating it up. And now we're arguing with one another, right? Pyramids all over the country. In the property that I went to today, they said that they had the biggest pyramid in the country on this property, right? Bro, bro was wild and he said that the pyramid was bigger than the one that came in. I'm just not, you know, I'm just repeating what he told me and shit. You know what I'm saying? He, For that, I got to see some receipts, but this is where he was going with it. You feel me? And he said that they destroyed it. Now, I know that that's what they do. You feel me? I know that that's what they stay doing. So, and he had a little store. Look, the elder. And the elder he, uh, 
took Big Frank Sr. could do just what he wanted in Acadia, Florida, man. And famous sister, mm-hmm. just like uh, uh, my my father's mother. Now, on my father's birth certificate, they call her Emma Royal. And the one that gave father birth certificate, it says Emma Royal. Yeah. And remember, little mustache. Oh, uh, man. Uh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Well, his... Blair Underwood. Uh, yeah, they were in Georgia. Uh, yeah, McCraw. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. they all... We didn't use a hook and line. <laughs> so we had plenty of fish, and they know how to smoke it and preserve it. Uh, you, 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 you seen this, uh, the West Indian use a lot of it, salt fish to, uh, cure our own hams. Uh, we had a smokehouse. In 1999, radiocarbon dates were obtained for Stalling Island's postures excavated from Stalling Island's Georgia. There was no pottery below a level dated at 1870 BC, halfway down the base from there was dated 2,165 B.C. The base of the mound was dated at 3,540 B.C. Now, this is in Savannah, right? This is in Savannah, right? They don't talk about poverty point, right? Again, I put the post up today about Serpent Mound. They're not talking about Serpent Mound. Who did these things, right? Right? And I have been, I haven't been to all of the mounds in the Americas, but I've been to a lot of the mounds and I've been to some of the pyramids. You feel me? Somebody's lying. Somebody's obviously lying, but oh my God, at this point in time, is that a surprise to you? Is that a surprise to you? Did anything, and it's not even like, yo, they know the truth about you and they're hiding it from, I don't think that they know anything at this point. I think that they just as lost as you. But what they can't afford is for people to, you know, be trying to figure this shit out in public with all of these artifacts intact and all of this information floating around. They can't, they, they, you know, it challenges their narrative, especially the Christian one. So what they was explaining to me today on this land is that, you know, the Christians came and destroyed everything in this country. You feel me? They just started messing everything up, bro. Out of just pure hatred, calling everything pagan. You know what I'm saying? They fear what they don't understand. They hate what they conquer. You know what I mean? All of this video, everything that I'm showing you um, to some degree is on my page. You know what I mean? Uh, somebody said, what about, they got hella, fo- um, nah, nah, they, 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 they don't know, you know what I'm saying? Somebody said something about Cahokia, the base at Cahokia, Illinois is bigger, plus other mounds, red and blue mounds lining up with the stars, yeah, yeah, and, and again, you feel me, it's like, if we share this information, does that mean that we're shitting on Kemet? No, we're challenging narratives to say, look, there was a lot going on in this planet, especially on the pyramidal line, which is the 19.5 degree longitude or latitude, which would be the one of them right? That particular line, there's a ring that goes around the planet. And I know the flat earth is just like, niggas is getting mad uncomfortable because I'm talking about the planet like it's round and shit. Like, oh my God. But until proven otherwise, right? <laughs> you can trace the 19.5 degree line around this planet and you're going to find pyramidal structures on all of those lands, on all of those lines, right? All around the world. And those pyramidal structures align to pyramids that are on other planets. Who does that? Right? Who were these people? They definitely don't want you to know. So all of these are ancient rocks. They got petroglyphs in Georgia, right? These rocks are like 5,000 years old in terms of the carvings that went in. And when I show you the intricate carvings, again, somebody has to tell me what sort of machinery were they using? What sort of tools were they using? This is all granite, right? This is all of the stuff that the pyramids are made out of. This is all of the stuff that the obelisks are made out of. This is the stuff that you find in Kemet, 
right? Courts granted. This is the stuff that you got granted in you. You know, your bones are the, the, the most similar structure to these granites. The granite is able to create tachyon energy. Tachyon energy will help you tap into the tap to the multi-dimensional universe instantaneously. Right? How are they carving out of granite? What sort of tools did they have 5,000 years ago? Hey, bro, he was showing me stuff that I couldn't take pictures of. I'm talking about full scale, full scale carvings, right? This is a piece of black jade right there. You know what I'm saying? This is a piece of black jade. That they found in a, a desert, the Gobi Desert. This was like between Mongolia and China, something like that. So this wasn't from Georgia. But there were other artifacts that he showed me. Jade heads, right? Full figures, Olmecian figures. Because this European is like, look. He's like, the Omex was all the way up here. He's like, Stone Mountain was the Mecca for them. That's not the first time that I've heard that, Right? When I went to Serpent Mound in 2010, I was getting books from a European named Ross Hamilton. The Smithsonian was hating him so hard that you had to go up there to find his books because you can't. He couldn't publish them with any publishers. In his books, he's saying that the Olmecian civilization came up as far as Washington, D.C. You feel me? And they were responsible for Poverty Point and all of that stuff in the Louisianas. You understand? These are your ancestors, okay? I will play you all of the footage that I have when we went to Mexico and we met with the Mayans out there. And they said straight up, like, no, the Omex is the mother civilization of Mexico enemies your people. Those are Africans, without a shadow of a doubt, right? I want to save people from the lies that are being told, right? Because without truth, there could be no freedom. You feel me? And there can be no freedom without truth. So if you don't have freedom of speech, how can you ever get to the truth? And if you can't get to the truth, how can you ever get to health? And if you can't get to health, how can you ever get to wealth? So they're depriving you of your inalienable rights by player hating and blocking and censoring. This shit go deep. Yeah, I read the hidden history of Washington, D.C. as well. You know what I mean? Where I, I lay, you know, I read the Masonic hidden history of Washington, D.C., um, and then they said something about, they said Benjamin Banneker, they said, um, and I learned this when I was out Midwest, this, this past strong. And they said that Benjamin Banneker not only built DC, they said he built Indiana as well. Ain't nothing more Masonic than Indiana. So you got to go back and say, shit, who's Benjamin Banneker where he's lining up Washington DC to the serious constellation. Because this entire country pays homage to your ancestors, right? By way of Sirius, July the 4th and December 31st, right? I'm just saying. And you could Google this shit. Like, this is not even hidden information. It's, it's hidden right in front of your face, but it's not hidden. But you're not going to see Tom Brokaw talk about it on the news necessarily. Shit, you might. But you wouldn't even know what you was looking at. Because we so far removed from even understanding how they set this thing up. Or even understanding how secret societies and fraternities work. Or even why they've been established. Who they were established by. What information that they have. What their purpose is. Nobody's talking about this. Yeah, don't act Siri though. There's nothing more Masonic, like I said, than Indiana or in Diana. Nothing. That shit was so Masonic. I was just like, whoa. They not even trying to hide this. It's out in the public. For real. Nobody talks about this. So they drove us by. Uh, man, I ain't gonna get into it, man. We, we just, you know, it's a lot of work that still needs to be done. You feel me? In terms of and it be the yo red you on the if you on the line um drop me a, a, a an emoji or something man it be these it be these killer fucking states bro it be these states where niggas is kicking up dust and eating eating each other 
right? Cannibalizing one another, killing one another wholesale. Them states still got slavery in them. Them states still got slavery in them, right? In the form of not only the prison um, industrial complex, just the way that they be playing these niggas. Like, they drove us past um, a, 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 a venue out there, and it was like melanated people still can't go in the front door. They got to go through the back. I'm like, y'all ain't burnt that shit down already? Like, what the hell? Oh, that's where the judges in. Okay, so this is where the high level masons be at, right? So you under the thumb of the masons. Stop calling it white supremacy. Call the shit what it is. It's the fraternal orders. You know what I'm saying? They got you, um, Abner Louima, Cincinnati, right? Cincinnati is the home of the Seven Hills. That is Rome to them. They told me that's the Illuminati headquarters. If there's such a thing. You feel me? So that whole pocket, Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, right? Them is some different type of crackers out there. Them is some different type of masons. Them is some different type of crackers. Them is some crackers that is like eating niggas. Them is some different type of crackers. But Red, you can tap in if you want to. Them some look. I seen Europeans, they got white niggas in Kentucky. They will give you a run on on Negro swag. Like these niggas had the bop and everything. Like these niggas was different out there. They had oh, they had they had silverback crackers out there with the long silver gray beards with mad um these niggas got nigga DNA. These must be the niggas. These are the white niggas who was fed by black wet nurses and that fucking um, mitochondrial DNA got passed down to these niggas. Straight up. They eating niggas and cloning them because they got different type of energy on them out there. And niggas are swirling like the shit is going out of control. Alright. Okay. Alright. Mm. You should travel a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You should travel a little. I had to get the fuck out of New York City to find out what the hell was going on in the rest of the world. Because you will be blindsided and think that New York is the epitome of what the hell is going on in this country. And it's not. Any and everything over the Brooklyn Bridge is the country, nigga. You feel me? It's the country. It's different. Get out of New York, travel a little bit. See the way that this shit opens up and the dynamics of what America looks like. The tanning of America is real. I used to live in Pennsylvania for a little while. That shit was tanned. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> that shit was tanned. They are mixing DNA. Things is knocking them fat white women down like ain't nobody business. Yeah, I had just stopped in Dallas for a minute. That shit is a, a a melting pot of all type of everything going on in there. I seen Asian, black, white, and everything, and everybody was mixing up over there. Yeah. What do I think about Colorado? Colorado got some different type of Europeans over there, too. You know? Um... Colorado is just so massive in terms of their um their mountain structure, right? The land mass. You know what I'm saying? So many like when I fly over Colorado, it be all these little towns built inside of mountains and stuff. That shit look dope, you know what I mean? But in it's mad land, it's uninhabited. And then you go into Death Valley and all of that other stuff, and you like, God damn. America has all sorts of terrains and tapestries. Hey, shout out from, to Peace from El Salvador. Let me get a Bitcoin, bro. All right? Let me send you my Addy. <laughs> Watch, this time next year, El Salvador going to be the new Cancun. All right? <laughs> He's going to be pulling up on El Salvador like it's too low. 
Yeah, man. The perversion of it is bad. Yeah. Yeah, big Beckys. You know what I'm saying? Linebacker Beckys. Niggas tackling linebacker Beckys out of town. This shit is crazy. You feel me? This shit is crazy. Ain't nobody got no Pamela Andersons. You know what I'm saying? All them niggas got Roseanne Balls. Balls. But, you know, big Karens need love too. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, Colorado, um I've been to Denver, you know what I'm saying? A few other places in Colorado, but I haven't been too many places in Colorado. But I've flown over Colorado and it looks beautiful. I love Oregon, you know what I'm saying? I can't get enough of Oregon. Oregon is beautiful. Europeans is different out there too. And they said that that's the whitest state. It's the 33rd state. They said it's the whitest state in the union. It was specifically created as a white society. You know what I'm saying? But this is white courts, right? And then they was giving us the whole history about how the conquistadors was hard body in Georgia. He was telling us about, um, damn, Brad, what's the, um, what's the, the, the Ponce de Leon in them? Nigga, they knew that the gold was in Georgia. They was up here looking for the gold. Do you know that the first gold rush happened in Georgia and not California? You understand? When you find evidence of this, which is white quartz, this is the evidence of the presence of gold, right? Not pyrite, white quartz, okay? So when you understand what Stone Mountain represents, right? And the fact that it spreads to five different states, Okay, it was considered the Olmecian Mecca. Just like Cahokia was the meeting place. This is where they all converged at. You feel me? So they was talking about the whole story. And this is what led to the Trail of Tears. Because they found gold in Georgia. This is when they washed up the Cherokees and ran them out. So the land that we was in today was Cherokee land. And all of these ancient artifacts, you know, I think that they probably predate the, um, the Cherokee, honestly speaking. Because these joints was ancient, ancient glyphs. You know what I'm saying? These was ancient, ancient glyphs that they set up. Ceremonial glyphs. And this is where they have um, healing water, lithium healing waters at. Right? And I can't show you the pictures that I have. Uh, I have to erase them, actually. Um, I wasn't, I didn't have permission to take them. So I'm going to have to get rid of them. But it was crazy. Um, these, these uh, the Europeans in the 1800s, they had took this particular landmass over here in Georgia where the, uh, the, the springs was at. I think they was Methodist or something. So they considered it pagan. They denounced it. They started destroying. They destroyed the pyramid that was on the land. They started destroying all of the different um, edifices. You know what I'm saying? And then they started baptizing people in these um, in these rivers, right? These lithium springs out here. You feel me? These devils are something else, man. Yeah, peace, love, and light to Bella. I'm gonna watch my language. You know, in Nubia, of course. Um, so it's just the history is vast. And, you know, on a final note, my thing is like this. If I speak about America, I'm not speaking down on Africa. And I have said some things on my live that was a little bit triggering. Right. But it's not out of hate or contempt. I'm just saying let's compete. You know what I'm saying? And don't fall under the false premise that. You're going to go to the continent, you know what I mean? And there's a level of solidarity and an invite just waiting for you because you coming home if you're not bringing no business with you. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that these people run the country. I mean, they run the world out of the minerals that they're getting from the continent. So 
we, we can do best for ourselves because you're not going to get riches from America through minerals. Doing what? What minerals are you going to secure? Right? What are you going to compete with or compete for in America that's going to bring you or put you in a particular predicament that you can, you know, become a global power? Not a damn thing. But you can go to the continent and you could disrupt markets, right, that are uncontested by Europeans and Chinese. They're the only ones out there jugging. The Africans don't know what's going on in terms of how to utilize it because the global elite would have not allowed them to become manufacturers. They can only produce raw materials. They can't do nothing with the minerals. You can do that, though. You can utilize the power of your citizenship, right, and make this democracy work for you, if that's the case. Because you niggas pick up guns and go and fight for them. So why not go to the continent and do business responsibly or disrupt irresponsibly in terms of disrupting what these other people have been able to enjoy the fact that there's no competition, right? And ain't nobody sitting at the table talking to them any particular way, right? Because the African is, 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 is mystified by them. You know what I'm saying? An African has a very peaceful nature still to this day, regardless of what has happened to them, right? They're very peaceful people. semi docile But some of you niggas, hmm. You got European all the way in you. Like I was saying, how they, they got Europeans out in the Midwest that look like they, they was wet nursed from melanated women and got all of their mitochondria. You have a European inside of you. Or a lot of us do. You know what I'm saying? How could you account for these niggas running around here with the I'll be sure hair? Right? How African is that? I'm just saying. Because niggas sell <laughs> <laughs> Niggas got curly ass six eat the hair. I'm talking about how African they are. Come on, B. Just, just cut it out. No original stock survived over here. Everything got raped out. Everything. You feel me? So, we have a lot of work to do evicting this European who has been utilizing our most prized real estate, which is our mentals from time immemorial, right? The European has been setting up shop and our mental rent free. When you're going to either evict him or make him pay some back rent. Cause he's, you know what I'm saying? He's just sitting up there with his feet up. Like how the white boy was in the, um, in Nancy Pelosi's office. With the feet on the desk. He's just chilling with dirty shoes on. He don't even take his shoes off when he comes into your crib. But you want to shoot me in my face. You feel me? I mean, shout out to all of the non-ethers, you know. But for the niggas out here with the I'll be sure here. How you explain that? Where you get that from? Right? What part of the continent do that come from? You could be East Africans because I, you know. They tell me that I, you know, they're like, yo, you Fulani. I'm like, okay, my people is in Ethiopia. That's cool, right? My grandfather used to tell me about the Tam on the Duke because he traveled the world. He was a Marine merchant, right? So he was in the army or the military. But he got to travel the world and he talks about the beautifulest melanated people he's seen. It was pitch black. He called him the Tam on the Duke. He said they got straight black hair. This is the shit that got Farrakhan in trouble, so I'm going to just back up, right? They said that the nigga's hair is like your eyebrows, okay? Take it up with them. Right? They don't got nine eat their hair. They shit is straight, like your eyebrows. You feel me? And, and Farrakhan and them tried to say that that was the original stock. And they got some blowback for that. So I'm not even going to go there. Yeah. My my grandfather was a, a, a merchant marine. Where he at? Shout out to my baba. And look, shout out to all of the babas. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all of the babas. Um, this is my grandfather, Lloyd Thomas. He taught Farrakhan. Farrakhan was his student before Farrakhan met Elijah. He told him Calypso. 
a f- my grandfather was a famous Calypso player called the Prince from St. Croix. And Farrakhan was his student. And how do I know this, nigga? Because I met Farrakhan. And it was verified. In 2006, on 127, on 127th Street in Adam Clayton Powell, Farrakhan was at a church in Harlem where he was telling his members in the nation that he got visited by aliens in Mexico on the top of the pyramids. And I was at that lecture, and I was very uncomfortable. Like, wait, what? And I had contact up to, to that point. I just felt uncomfortable for him because he was sharing it with that demographic, and it don't sound like it didn't feel like they was ready to hear that. They thought that they was gonna hear something else, but he kept it tall with them. And then I, I got to go on stage in front of all of you know the people in attendance and meet him. If anybody in the NOI got that video, can I please get it? You know what I'm saying? Can I please get that video? Feel me? I know somebody seen it. Somebody got it. And um, I shook his hand and shit. I've never felt a hand like that before. It was very, it was very different. It felt like he was an avatar, like he was just beaming in and not really even here. He got a different type of energy on him. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the minister. You know? Shout out to the minister. He's a family friend. And my grandfather said that he introduced him to the to his wife, the woman that Farrakhan ended up marrying. What's her name? Khadija? I believe so. You know? So Yeah. You know, um, Thank you, thank you, thank you. For real, it was like a vibration. Yeah. Yeah, his 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 energy was like it was different. I can't I can't yeah, I can't explain it. It was like he was a projection. He was vibrating on a different level. You know what I'm saying? Very, very light. He has very soft hands. You know what I mean? But so do I. You know? Very magnetic presence. Um, somebody said, can you be pro black and marry interracial? Uh that is that's a conundrum. You know what I'm saying? And you have to reconcile what that means to you. Um and when you say interracial, you know, because race has a lot of different designations. You talking about a European? Yes, some people are verifying the fact that yes, when when they held his hand, it's hard to explain. It's a different energy. I've never experienced it, so I can't reference it to anything. You know what I'm saying? But it was an entirely different experience that I that I had in the presence of the minister. You know what I mean? And I was there for the conversation um about his experience. Who is anybody to tell him different? Shout out to a mother Tynetta. You know what I mean? You need to delve into the work of mother Tynetta. She is the coldest, maybe on the planet, for the information that she disseminates. And she's able to bridge, right, with this information, the, the, the Mayan ancestry, right, the Omekian ancestry, the, the, the African, I mean, all of it merges and it connects together. It's all of different pieces of puzzles. Stop allowing the colonizer to convolute our mind by having us think that so many things are separate when they're not. You feel me? So I'm a um again. They got my my you know the stuff blocked, but I got a minute remaining. I might come right back on and finish this conversation. So let me end it now, and I'll be back. Peace. <laughs>